wasp and hornet killer is more effective, or maybe it's the same effective, as uh, pepper spray. And it shoots up 27 feet, so there you go. All you have to do is spray this. And if wasps get in your way, you can just spray them while you're at it. The only problem is the size. I mean, can we get this in keychain size? Or do I go jogging? I mean, kind of, kind of get in the way. But maybe not. Maybe it'll be like an extra workout, so I can kill wasps. I can uh, spray people, and I can, I can work out my right arm. How's that sound? Yeah. Wasp and hornet killer. Buy it today. Yeah. Think? It's like the size of the water bottle. It's bigger than a water bottle. Oh. It is 3:21. I'm still in my sleeping clothes. Oh, summer! Look at the beautiful summer sunshine. Can't see it. There it is. Ah, feels great. What actually happened is I woke up at. Okay. Let me start it over. Since it's summertime, I went to sleep at 4, or 30, maybe 5, and then I woke up at 8 for no reason. I just woke up and I was fully slept, um, I was fully, I don't know, I was awake. And I look at my clock and I'm like, it's bound to be like 2 and it was 8. So I was like, no, I'm going back to sleep. So I woke up at 11 and I was fully rejuvenated and I was like, mm, that's still too early for summer. So, I kind of woke up at like 2.30, and I love summer. And the other good thing about my schedule is I have summer classes. I'm in class right now. Can't you tell? No, I'm just kidding. I have class from 6 to, supposedly 6 to 11 at night, but we never get out at 11. We always get out at like 9.30. So, and this is my bling bling. I brought her with me. She loves it. She's a little bored, so I bought her these toys. I mean, to them, but butter toys and crap. Yeah, this is my apartment. We got a fireplace, a TV, this couch I'm on. It's pretty nice. A cute little balcony. A table with no chairs. As you can tell, there is absolutely no wall decor except the, that little thing. This thing is awesome. Let me show. You. Is there a lighter on here? Yeah. Okay. It's the winter. Oh no, it's fall. Oh, it's spring. Maybe that's summer. Now it's winter again. Summer, spring, fall, and then winter. Isn't that cool? I like it. This is my messy room. It's messy because I'm constantly studying, believe it or not. I'm not right now, but boxes everywhere still. Unmade bed, cat, clothes, bathroom's kind of messy. It's pretty nice, though. I'm enjoying my place. But. So, bad news. Um, we'll go out here on the balcony. Yesterday, okay, I've been in class for about a week. Maybe she'll come out here. She's never been outside. Um, so I've been in class for about a week. Things are okay. They're hard, but I'm doing it. Like, I'm making it. Well, I found out yesterday that my professor has, um, thyroid cancer and that she won't be teaching our class anymore, so... I don't know what's going on with that. I'm assuming she'll tell us tomorrow, because, I mean, tonight, because we found out on Facebook. So, we'll see what happens. Definitely keep her in your prayers. Yeah. I'm going to go study. Okay, I'll get back with you guys on the road. Sorry I haven't been vlogging a lot. I'm busy and with school. Are you going to come out? <laughs> what's going on? Why is it so freaking hot outside? <laughs> bling bling. Okay, everything's off. Okay, all right. It's now that I have my place to myself. I'm like, okay, did I turn off the coffee pot? Did I turn off my my blow dryer? Did I lock everything? And today is that I don't care what my hair looks like kind of day. Um, I brought this and might sport this today. It's actually Cody. Locking the door. Okay, I fixed my hair kind of. Well, I will just shave it whenever I get to my destination. There we go. But yeah, I'm on my way to meet these girls. They're super awesome girls. The first day I got to class, they all knew each other. Three girls. Oh, I'm like looking for my sunglasses and I forgot. I destroyed them. Anyway, um... Uh, yeah. So the first day I get there, they're like, um... Carrie 
turns around and she's like, hey, do you have a uh, lab partner? And I was like, no, we just got here. And she's like, oh, that's great. You want to be lab partners with us? And I was like, oh, it's so sweet, you know? Huh, first day and she's, you know, she's being really nice, you know? And, uh, and so I found out a little bit later she was just trying to avoid this gay guy because he's annoying, I guess. Not that she has any problem with gay guys. Not that I have a problem with gay guys. Just, just, he was annoying. I think that was the point. Yep. This is Kelly's first time trying to grill on a George Foreman grill. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's peeing fat. That's awesome. <laughs> it goes. Don't blow me. <laughs> I'm going to have to check this. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it in half pretty much. See, it's not pink on the inside. Okay. So. Is it stringy? It's supposed to be stringy. Yes, it's stringy. Well, it's kind of pink. No, <laughs> that doesn't count. If it's not like raw, you're fine. Okay. As long as we don't die. Okay. Come look at it. Come look at it. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. okay. These are the, the olfactory bulbs. Uh huh. The little thingies right here. Yeah. This is the optic nerve. Uh huh. The little thing. Uh. Uh, the mammillary bodies down here, as she said, they look like they look like boobs. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. They're yeah. like way down there, but we can't see them unless we break it. Uh, this is a sheep brain, by the way. Sheep. Nah. <laughs> Cerebral <laughs> cortex. No peduncle somewhere in here. Pond. That little thing. Uh -huh. The abductions are right there. In the medulla oblongata. Yes, it's a beautiful little sheep brain. Sheep brain. She's cutting it in half. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>